Was it epic? Epic. You're lying, so. Gotcha. He just needs to floor it. Not be scared. He can't be scared his whole life. He finally needs to do something cool. That's right. So. We, we were having there. issues getting him convinced to go in circle. Yeah. In he's, straight line. You just gotta do it, you know? <laughs> I want I want Cletus to uh, work the throttle. Yeah. I want him to. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's up for it. Oh, quick, man. I love the servo. He knows. Oh, I told him about it. He's like, dude, that's so. Funny. Yeah. Dude. Well, I was gonna give it to like an eight year old, and every time I like I set a kid in the car, I'm like, here, rev it. They just like hold the throttle down. So I'm like thinking. Well, that's Maybe what that's they're gonna not, do. So. I need to give it to someone who knows what a burnout needs. So, you know, I was thinking give it to him and I know what a burnout you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you more servos too, working at Hobbit Shop series. Yeah, this one this one's pretty stoked. <laughs> uh, it kept hanging the throttle, so we just kept getting bigger and bigger returns. So it's uh, I'll be honest. You're in there like rah, 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 rah. I'm like, no, floor it. No, I do wide it. Open. If, if it goes wide open, it's literally do you just hold yours to the floor? Like you literally just hop in there, you're like, it's like it. 80% to 100% throttle the whole time. This thing, it makes so much power, like it literally, you're on like 10 to 15%, and it's just like 6,000 RPMs. Dude, this like is, what, is I this like what you did there for your OT sensor. It kind of works. Yeah, I don't have an OT sensor. V1 is a little off, V2 will make work way, way better. You know? so. Yeah, I just, I just, you know, I had the long tubes on it and it ran great. So then when I did the zoomies, I was like, it's still running good. I don't need these O2 sensors. But I'm on the, I'm a solid stock computer, so it's like, yeah, it's all right. He's probably freaking out. He's trying to read. That's so you need to get a put a blower. Then you have to worry about filling the nitrous bottle or anything. So I can tell you this: any kind of forced induction on a burnout thing, unless it's like a roots blower or big block, is really hard. So. Is that not the goal? I mean, yeah, but I mean, you told me the game plan. Go out there, up. pop the tires, blow all the smoke, all the wheel speed, pop the tires, and blow the motor in that order, and you'll be in the runnings for potentially winning. You know. Are you going to be in the right one? You just going to do the right I'm in a class of my own. You know, I want too many too fast. Or like you're, you're done. <laughs> That's what I was like. Man, there's no point in bringing it. I got the boost. Are you in it or not? No, you're, I'm you're, not allowed. What? Yeah. All right. Hey, are you let them out this morning? Trash truck junior. Um, yeah, mini trash. Dude. I will. Um, I'll do you right. Yeah, do me right. I'll, if it, I'll avenge your, your, your if it, kick out of If the it survives a burnout, I definitely want to rip it in that bad. All right. All but right. it's got to survive you first, because if it don't do that, it definitely ain't going to survive me ripping this thing. Yeah. Hey, let someone else. Like 
Oh uh, yeah, I just started oh, it. I didn't know if the truck was like actually remote control. The throttle is the throttle and the starter are. Oh, so you can mess with people. No, so, was, no, so was some eight-year-old's gonna control my fate in there. <laughs> wow. Welcome to your let James, let James control it. Yeah. So we just a little uh, RC throttle wax and the uh, bypass valve is so small and the way the blower is geared that it makes so much boost that it just tries to blow the throttle blade open. Um, it's got a really healthy return spring on it and uh, it would probably need just a really massive one. So it needs a bigger bypass valve. So hopefully in the burnout it doesn't try to hang the throttle but if it does then I guess fate's gonna decide. <laughs> Hit him with it. We're about to go out here and do a, a little rip. I guess it's up to my own discretion. I mean, how long do you think, like 30 seconds? Or do I don't know how much tire you got left. Oh, it's brand new. I'm trying to get wear it down so it'll pop quicker. Oh, I got you. It's a brand so you're new. Gonna split it up. Brand new, good, good, brand new good year. I'm not lying, I'm nervous. I'm out of my element. You have to at the angle. You get straight. You've got a whole lot of power. A whole lot of power. Horse power. Oh, it's it's it raining. Out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys may notice it is a little wet. Yeah. Yeah, it's been raining all day. If you're looking, the grains of water would probably be a lot. <laughs> what do you think track temp here. is? Track temp is uh, yeah, moisture. Wet. So no GoPros on this one. Uh, we hope that it lives, and then we'll have GoPros on the actual Burnout Rivals contest. Yeah. I have no idea what to expect right here. Um, luckily, it rained, so now the uh, since the truck, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really make a lot of power. It should be able to spin the tires over. I'm gonna put it down when I get up there. I just don't want to. We have a class that anyone can enter. It's a cash prize, $3,000 for first place, $1,500 for second place, $500 for third. Uh, that's the first class. And then, that's like 25 cars. Then we take a small break, we clean it up, and we run the Warbird. So, so then Warbird goes, and then we start the Burnout Rivals class, which is, uh, all the YouTuber dudes who have built some rowdy, just crazy burnout cars. So we're just uh, we're starting off with the cash prize class, then Warbird, then Burnout Rivals, and then uh, if it's dry, we're gonna run some jet cars. So and then demo, and then demo jet. So hang tight, guys. We're gonna let her rip here in a minute. Hey, real quick question, please. Are, are we gonna have judges from the crowd, or you wanna pick some judges, or we already got our judges? Done deal. Thank you, boys. All right, I'm gonna make sure nobody's passing y'all hundreds or tens or twenties, depending on who it is. Oh, we got a car coming right now, guys. Let's hear it for our first one. Oh, 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 Like, how I feel like at some point I'm just gonna shut the truck off and be like, it's broken. So I'm like, I had enough. 
Yeah. No, I. Nah. I hear you. That's. Been doing oil change. We lost like we're, run, we're running it so fat. We lost like 25 pounds of oil pressure. So I just did an oil change on my F450. So we're switching up to. Uh, we generally run Shell Rotella T4. Now we have T6. So uh, this is 5W40 instead of 15W40, but it should do the trick. Uh, we've been robbing tools from Cooper the whole time. Uh, don't tell the EPA about our oil change. We had a little mishap, <laughs> but we're good. Sorry, Vic. And um, we're filling it up right now. Hopefully, better oil pressure. All we gotta do is one more burnout. Cletus is gonna be in control of this one. Um, we're, I'm pretty much gonna tell him, be like, hey man, try to stay off the rev limiter, but here you go, here's the remote. So he's gonna work on the throttle. I'm gonna try to steer it, work the brakes. Uh, I, I'm gonna tell him when I stick my arm out the window, that means like I'm gonna take control of the, of the burnout. Um, and uh, I gotta go out there and start whacking the throttle. I know everyone in the comments like, they're gonna be like, man, will you just quit whacking the throttle and just stay Don't in it? Like, it so much. You gotta I know, but it. I don't think you understand, like as soon as you tip into this, it's like six grand, six grand. Like you can't hold Perfect. it. You cannot hold it there. So everyone at home sitting on their couch is like, man, you're just whacking the throttle too much. But I mean, I don't know what to tell you. There's a lot going on in there. Um, I'm gonna try to be steadier with the throttle. So that's the plan. Um, it was fun though, it was like, it's weird because it's wet. So if it wasn't wet out, it'd be, uh, it'd be pretty nice. But you just can't get any traction. I kept getting like sucked in the corner. Uh, but I, I, at one point, I do have to stop and get a ton of tire smoke and the uh, fill cap. Yeah, no, the fill cap is baffled as well. Yeah. So that's what we got going on. Uh, it was, the burnout was fun though. I'm gonna get some GoPros and put it in here for this one. And uh, and I'm excited, you know. I would, in a perfect world, like to... Oh, look at that shirt. Look at that, look at that shirt. Uh, in a perfect world, I would like to the gear drive and blower to live. It'd be great if everything lived and I could like take it through a drive through tomorrow would be the plan. But uh, it's fate. Whatever happens to its fate, it's it's literally going to be out of my control. So we are, uh, we're going to try to make it happen. And uh, we're going to fire it up here in just a minute. Confirm. We got oil pressure and uh, we can get... When it surges, it'll literally blow your hand down. Yeah, that is insane. That's why the throttle hangs when it gets past like quarter percent. With a blow-off valve there, even wide open. Now you see why you need a monster bypass valve. God, you need more than you need like four of those. That is insane. I cannot believe that. I'm surprised it hasn't blown the coils away. So we had a low oil pressure issue. We still, I'd say, have low er, low-ish oil pressure, but I need those. 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 So. Hey, guys, I love that you want to talk to him, but I need him out. I want to talk to him, but I need him out. Yeah. <laughs> 
been retired. Did it, did it shut off? Oh, it, it lost all pressure. Yeah, I was, I was wide open when hey, it shut down. Hey, dude, that was perfect. Dude, that I felt perfect. like I was fully in control. I lost where I was for a minute, dude. I know, I was fully in control. I was like, I felt like you shifted the That was awesome. That was sick. I feel like we're like brothers. Watch this, Alex. Hold on, wait, hold on. Come on. on. What? That, that is, is so, so cool. sick. Dude, that's tight. Wow, I appreciate that. All right, Bob Bird News, let's push her off. Yeah, she expired, bro. God, that's a motor. How was it? Epic. It was epic? Epic. The motor? Sacri the si sacrifice. The 6 0 died in the hands of Cleeter. All right, we're going to put her in the box if it'll crank. Recap, absolutely insane. I was so nervous all day about uh, the burnout because like my first one, I was just like all over the place, just like loose. I mean, I was like very, very soft on the RPMs, probably for good reason. If I went out there and did that the first time, it would have died. When we came back after, it had a little oil pressure issue and it was, um, we noticed that being an alcohol car from my experience, I was like, oh, maybe it's the oil getting a little bit milky. Uh, we changed the oil. It picked up like 10 pounds of oil pressure, but it was still significantly lower. Uh, ran good, tune up killer. Uh, pulled it out there, high up the crowd. F felt like Stone Cold Steve Austin. If I had two beers, I would smash them. Uh, point to Cleese. Cleese is like, I'm gonna fire this thing up. Fires it up, revs it, hop in there, pull it in gear, give him the thumbs up. And that dude literally, I was so worried that he was just gonna like hit the the damn uh, the the rev it. limiter and like bust the gear drive. Not that I think it would bust that easy, but. I had felt had a lot more confidence in him after watching him do that burnout in Warbird because that was absolutely insane. And uh, he literally did like the best throttle, throttle control. control ever. Yeah. Like I was just staring at the tack. I lost where I was at one point. And I just held the brakes and just like it was just smoke was just like flying past me. And it, it was like 6,500. It was like going up and down like 200 RPMs. Like he was on it. And uh, I wish I could have seen him like moving it, but. Uh, I mean, so there's a video out there. I'm sure there's a video out there of him. Moving. I mean, it's absolutely insane. So uh, we made a really in, in two and a half days. So when we came down, it was or when we got ready to really decide we're going to come down here. Uh, the truck had uh, a motor in it with some uh, current performance motor mounts. It had a transmission with a transmission mount and it had a drive shaft and a welded diff. Uh, everything else we had to do in two and a half days. So uh, put a motor plate on there, fixed what was wrong with the gear drive. Uh, we wired it, we plumbed it, we made the brakes, we made a throttle pedal, a brake pedal, um, we wired it to run on remote control, we tuned it, and literally everything that we needed it to do, like, it checked every box. And, uh, it's yeah, like, it's, it's bittersweet almost. Yeah, the tune-up was, uh, pretty much just, uh, no dyno tuning, just sounded good, send it. Yeah, I mean, that was just like old school alcohol tune there, but I mean, it's just like, it's crazy. A lot of hard, a lot of hard work. I mean, we really didn't pull two crazy hours. I will say, no, it we're a little bit more efficient than we have been in the past, which is nice. Um, but a lot of hard work goes into this stuff, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't even, I can't film a quarter of the amount of work that goes into these projects. But like something like this, I mean, like when we fired it up the first time, I think everyone was blown away by how it sounded. The uh, remote, like the remote, cranked it up remote. That cranked was... it up remote, absolutely insane put a blower surge tune up in there where it literally blower surges like every single thing it was just awesome so um to all the companies that help us out uh tcam performance holly efi motion raceworks uh, i mean there's so many of them her on speed's a huge help i mean there's like i i can't even texas speed they're right behind us texas speed's a big help uh i can't even name i'm just like so overwhelmed with how awesome it was and how everything worked and in our team here we got logan and his fat ass walking by me uh ben Wes, everyone back at the shop. I mean, it, it really is a team effort all around. So, um, couldn't thank Matt enough. Matt, it was, it was pretty much it was Matt's idea. He's like, hey, what if we do like remote control burnout? And I'm like, 
dude, no way. I think I probably even told you no way. And Matt's like, no, we're gonna do it. Uh, but I like to say, I, I, that was my idea, right, putting it right there. Yeah. I'm, take, I'm taking that to the grave. That was my idea to put the servo there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but no, Matt, Matt came, Matt was a huge help. So you guys need to follow Matt on Instagram. Uh, Matt's, Matt sells parts, he's, he's got a shop. Uh, so Matt comes down and really helps us out with our program. So um, really thankful for that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's- uh, I had a blast. This is probably the most fun I've had loading a car up that's got a hurt motor. I mean, normally it's like you hurt the motor and you're like, oh man, this sucks. I can't wait but to now tear I'm down. just like, oh, this is a blast. The teardown yes. video is going to be crazy because we're going to tear it down and see what's wrong with it. And those got like, I made this video a while ago and this is the motor I said we make a thousand horsepower for a thousand dollars. And I guarantee that bitch was making every bit of a thousand horsepower. Oh, easily. I mean, we took the blow off valve off and if you put your hand in front of the hole when it, when it surged, and that's idle. Yep. That's idle. Like, absolutely insane uh so we so like we did it we made a thousand horsepower for a thousand oh i did I'm, i had parts laying around i literally had less than a thousand dollars in the motor from intake to, or, or from yeah yeah we're now intake, yeah, yeah this, in, that, this, in, this elbow isn't even mine that's someone else's i i've my, i can't even think of his name but he, he literally let me borrow the elbow because mine from holly is jacob um because my elbow from Holly's on back order, so uh, big thank you. To that I mean, there's so many moving parts that people don't even understand, and it's uh, it's crazy, absolutely awesome for Cletus to. Uh, I mean, first of all, the event Cletus and Cars is insane, but um, oh, wait, hold on, look at this guy, look at this guy right here. Hey, bring that camera in here. Yeah, go, go up there, get Come over here. This is the deal. I got my cousin here. We got Mikey B all the way from Detroit City. We got right here. We got Marty the party. Marty, turn around. You're on camera. Hey, man, what's hey, up? Good job, man. We got Rachel. Then we got Garza. It's hard to see him. He's so short, but it's all right. <laughs> Can't see you, but you can hear me. Hey, everybody. This is the deal. Just going to tell you right now. It's hogs only, brother. Check out my OnlyFans. That's a copyright of Nick Savage Inc. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hogs are us, brother. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up today's video. Um, big thank you to everyone that uh, watches and supports. Uh, big thank you to Brayton Motorsports Park, Vic, uh, Cletus, and the whole crew, James, all them. Uh, it's just an absolutely awesome event. I'm like... I've had more fun doing this stuff, doing like a little burnout stuff, having fun goofing off, like a little bit like soft mechanic-ish stuff um, than, than ra racing sometimes. It is fun going fast, but this is just... Luggage stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Luggage uh, got stuck under the truck. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is a blast and um, I, I do have plans to turn this into a drag truck, but we're probably gonna put another motor in there and have some fun with it first. Uh, this is not going to be the end of this truck. This is not going to be the end of the, the remote controlled era that we're going to go into. And we got some really awesome projects. Um, we're going to branch out a little bit. So I know you guys really do enjoy the racing, but um, I goof off like most days all day. So I'm just, you guys are going to goof off with us and it's going to be fun. So what, tell them, tell them, Logan. Tell them. Let me tell you something. Tell them something, Logan. We came down here, blew up a motor. It's barely living. Might have enough oil pressure to uh one pound. One pound. One pound. Got enough oil pressure to pull up in the trailer, but we blew out two tires. Logan's going home. Blowing out backs. Hey! That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>